on the Dinwiddie side of Lake Chesden. 49 years, going on 50 years. Lake News travels quickly to the Whippernock Marina. We are all upset about what happened Saturday. A fatal boat wreck Saturday afternoon. Officials say two boats collided at this point of the lake, coming from opposite directions. Investigators confirming Monday, two boaters wearing life jackets survived the collision. Two on the other boat, not wearing life jackets, did not survive. At least one of the boats was involved in a bass tournament that happens every couple of weekends here at the Whippernock Marina. They tell us it's something they just do for fun. It builds community and a lot of people have a good time. They get together. It's like a family. So when stuff like this happens, even when they don't know who the other person was and stuff, it's still, they're out there doing the same thing too. They're fishing, you know, they're doing with their friends and stuff. I mean, it's just a tragic thing. It's sad. For those who know Lake Chesden well, the point where this happened is well known and described as dangerous by many. Yeah, ex um, especially if both of them are coming around the corner at the same time. They can't hear one another. Most people we spoke to who have been around Lake Chesden for a while now say they can't really remember a wreck like this happening anytime recently. They say if anything, it's a sad, tragic accident and a reminder that things can change quickly on the lake and that you need to take all the proper safety precautions when you're out on the water. It is a freak accident, but just be mindful that, you know, this it's a high traffic area. And it's a busy day. Keep it and go wear slow. Your life jackets. Yeah, wear your life jackets. Please wear your life jackets. Officials say the investigation into the wreck remains open. Working for you in Dinwiddie, Jake Burns, CBS 6 News. Their request, please wear your life jackets. That's not just a request, it's a requirement. Because of this unfortunate accident, I looked up the rules to remind you of the state safety guidelines. And according to the Virginia Department of Wildlife Resources, nearly all deadly boating incidents are a result of drowning, and most of the deaths could have been prevented if the people had been wearing life jackets. Virginia requires a wearable, size appropriate, approved life jacket for every single person who's on the boat, in kayaks, canoes, or on paddle boards. If they're not worn, each jacket must be out in the open and easily accessible. You can find more on the guidelines by visiting dwr.virginia.gov.